Hi, Stephanie and Shay. What's your team name? OK, you must be pterodactyls, because pterodactyls can fly. What is your hypothesis? Our hypothesis is that the wingspan the further the plane will fly. So you're saying a narrow wingspan increases the distance the plane will fly? Yeah. Can you show us your planes, please? OK, they're all different styles there, girls. Which one do you think is going to fly the furthest? Why do you think it's going to fly the further, Steph? Because it's narrower and curved in the air. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Jim, Aaron, and Luke. What's your team name? The Badgers. Okay, Badgers. What is your hypothesis? Our hypothesis is that the heavier plane will go further than the light plane. Okay, so you've got planes of the same style with different weights. What's the weight of your plane, Jim? Oh, about one gram. Aaron? Mine's about two. And Luke? Uh, about three grams. Excellent. Which one do you think is going to fly furthest? Probably the heaviest one. Good luck. Okay, Jim and Aaron, you finished your trials now. What did your results show? Oh, the heavy plane wasn't as good as we thought. So which plane flew the furthest? Oh, uh, the medium one. So the two gram plane had the longest distance. Yeah. What other factors might have affected your plane throwing, Jim? Oh, uh, well, Aaron might have thrown a bit harder than me or Luke. Okay. So what do you think you can do to make sure that the power of the throw or the strength of the throw or the style of the throw doesn't affect how far the plane goes? So just the way you throw it, but we'll get so you to throw more. Yeah. What did you say, Jim? Oh, I'll get Aaron to throw more. So one person tests the three different planes and yeah. try and use the same style. Yeah. I think you might be onto something there, Jim.